Welcome aboard. How you doing, everybody? <laughs> Chris was the most magnanimous person I ever met. It is Friday night. We're going to hop on here real quick. He was generous of spirit. He was kind-hearted. He was affectionate. Um, he was appreciative. He was grateful. He was thankful. Um, he just was a lovable guy. Chris began his career as a journalist, and you have to know, he loved to talk. Mm -hmm. But I think at his core, he really loved getting to know people. And he had that journalist sort of instinct um, when you were engaged in conversation with him. He was so passionate. I mean, the first thing Chris would do in the morning was say, good morning. Um, he had a rout morning routine, and then he would go and sit in front of those weather graphics and the weather charts and, and know what was happening all across the country. One of the things I miss the most is his beautiful smile. And it was genuine. I think the thing that I would say about Chris is that many people in central Ohio knew him from the television, but he was that same genuine, warm personality here at home. Chris was ill for 21 months. And you know, it took everything we had as a couple, as a family, and as individuals to fight leukemia. Um, being a caregiver is hard work. Establishing a fund with the Columbus Foundation was really my saving grace. Chris and I both knew something good could come out of this illness, whether it be by the example we were setting of leaning into our faith or also through philanthropy. I almost wish that the title was Family of the Year. Uh, we fought this illness as a family. My children have been so wonderful and strong. And I think that that strength comes from knowing how very much they are loved. How much Chris and I both adore them. One of the reasons I'm so proud to support the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society in my campaign for Man of the Year is that 67 of the 71 new drugs and protocols for leukemia and lymphoma treatment have been funded by the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Chris lived a very big life. He, he was a larger than life personality. And I think he approached death with such dignity and such grace. Underneath it all, yeah. Chris was a weather geek. <laughs> and I really, I love to tease him about the fact that he truly was a scientist at his core, but one with really good hair and dimples.